Hey what's up guys you watching TechX theory and in this video let's see how to enable TPM 2.0 and secure boot on your windows pc or laptop. If you new to the channel do subscribe and also check out my other videos. Be without further delay let's get started. So guys firstly launch windows run and search for this command and uh, uh, enter it. And uh, uh, if this screen is visible on your pc then uh, you are running the TPM 2.0 already it is enabled. If it's not visible then don't worry we need to go to the BIOS now to uh, enable it. So shut down your PC first and now you need to go to the BIOS. Uh, in my case I have to press delete uh, for entering the BIOS. Uh, you can uh, see it on the screen and once you go into the BIOS then you need to go to peripherals option where the option will be present and you need to enable the Intel platform trust technology. This has to be enabled and once you enable it you need to go to save and exit and uh, you have to uh, save the settings basically uh, which is enabled and you need to save and exit setup but don't worry it's not yet over you have to boot into the bios again and now it will uh, boot into windows you have to log in and shut down your pc once again and let me shut down now and i will be fast forwarding this part and now you need to go to the BIOS again you have to press delete which is my case and now again you need to go to peripherals and now you need to enable trusted computing which is basically now the TPM 2.0 is enabled on your device and for the secure boot option you need to firstly disable CSM support which is important otherwise the secure boot option will not be available and you will run into trouble so firstly disable it and once you uh, disable it you need to go to secure boot and you have to set the secure boot customization to standard and enable secure boot and now you need to go to save and exit setup and that's it you are done now you have enabled the secure boot as well as the tpm 2.2 both very easily and now it will boot again into the system so you can check it by running the run command which i showed you earlier and as you can see guys actually it was pre enabled on my uh, device but it will be enabled after this uh, process as i also followed the same process for enabling it so yeah that's it from this video guys if you like the video give it a thumbs up and if this helped you let me know in the comment section below as, uh, to other viewers as well so do subscribe to the channel if this helped you and for more such videos subscribe thanks for watching see you in the next one peace